Hello, hello, hello. I thought I would try out a live stream for the first time ever on uh, Take Refuge 3D, and I just thought we'd have a little muck around and make a scene. So, um, welcome, one and all. Um, we'll just uh, start in Blender, and actually, we might go over and I was looking at some different um, artworks like Tatooine type um, type things. So we'll just do a couple of um, looks at Tatooine. I think something like this would be quite a cool pull this. Something like that would be quite a cool image there. We can full screen that and Get rid of all of that Google nonsense. Yeah, something like that. So let's get cracking. I'm going to keep that on a different screen. And I think I actually want to build this in plasticity. So we'll uh, let's see if I can find another reference for that building. Maybe something like that. It's basically an igloo, isn't it? Yeah, so a little bit awkward doing your first ever live stream so if any of you are watching you can uh, uh, let me know um, if you can hear me well and let's crack over to plasticity let's just start a new file Apparently my resolution is too high. So let's uh, see if I can fix that. video resolution okay I think it's in the settings here yeah. Okay, back in a moment. Okay, I think we're back. And we've got a better connection. So, there we go. Um, I'll just have a look here. And if you... Well, with me a moment ago, I said we're going to look at these kind of these Star Wars references for making a Tatooine like scene. I think this one's a perfect reference. And I think we can use plasticity to build something like that. Um, we're not going to go overboard and make anything like that, but that would be pretty cool. Um, but just for my first go streaming, um, yeah, this is it. Um, I'm going to put that on the other screen there. 
and we can start working in um, plasticity to build a I'll get rid of that cube to start with and let's make the doorway let's start with the doorway so I'm just gonna build an arch so we'll just take a corner rectangle and then we're just gonna grab a curve and do that that's not quite what we want but if we go into one we can just scale that out and we can press T to use the trim key and back in two we can oh, back in two we can join those two together and let's just uh, scale it on the X a bit and we've got an arch doorway I just want to uh, drag that up to the uh, surface like that and we'll just pull this out and maybe click tab to uh, double side it and we can get rid of our arch curve um, what I do notice is there is um, Okay, so we've kind of got the arch going around, but there's only one doorway and there's like a stairwell in the ground. Um, okay, so uh, let's try and build the, uh, the, the dome there. So I think the easiest way to do that um, is just to start with a circle roughly there. This is nothing like this is going to be to scale. We'll pull that up like that and we're just going to fill at this edge and then we're going to use the curve of the uh, cylinder to make that into a dome shape okay so we're starting to get something so let's go and press four and select this guy and do a radial array and we can just bring that down to four. I think we'll delete this one off the back. Okay, we're sort of starting to get a Tatooine-like um, building. Um, I think these can faces can all come out a little bit more. We can maybe pull that out like that. And I think I want to bring a square in here in the center and just press C to and we'll get it until it's a square maybe doing it from above might be easier something like that and just pull this up and we can QQ those together maybe I don't know if that was a good idea or not but um, okay I'm not going to go I'm not going to try and match it exactly I'm just going to have a play around and um, see how it goes alrighty so we are getting somewhere with this um, It's saying my bitrate's not good, but we'll see how that works later on. Internet in Australia sucks, by the way. So, um, so I guess this is the front of the building. And it's got this kind of like indentation where it goes like into an underground kind of building. So let's somehow... Yeah, we'll build the stairs like that like so and we'll just mirror that and we can join these two and what are we going to do extrude it down 
I'll just join these two together, put all the last. Now there's a bit of overlap there that it doesn't like. Oh yeah, no, that works. And then I wonder if we can get rid of these. No, it's not going to let us. In any case, what we'll do is we'll just give this a slight curve. Hi there, I can't quite see your name, ekergo one Thanks for support, and um, yeah, I will keep it uploaded after the live. I want to get those uh, watch hours in. Um, so yeah, if you've just joined, um, I'm basically going to attempt something like this. A um, uh, little sort of Star Wars scene. I might only use one sun though, who knows. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to play around with the Blender Bridge. I cage zero one. Thanks for watching I cage zero one and uh, th thanks for coming along and uh, lovely to have you here. Um, I don't know what to do with this though. I think I might have to thicken the sheet. If it this is really dodgy geo, so I'm gonna just get rid. And I'm gonna. I think I messed up when I did this. So we'll go. I might just try this whole thing from scratch. Okay, let's get a let's get a curve in here. Seven into top mode. We'll just grab that middle. And I think I might just play it safe and uh, join them like this. And we can rebuild the curve just in case it goes weird. And then let's extrude it now. I wonder if we can get rid of these. Nope. Okay, and then we can, I think what I want to do is I want to just shift X all these out and lock that just so I don't have those, uh, those random edges. Okay, so let's thicken this sheet. And thanks for the new people joining. Just having a muck around on a Sunday night. Nothing too crazy. Just uh, going to have a play around in plasticity and Blender and just sort of like see how the Blender bridge works for us and, and, and all of that. So um, I'm just going to pull this down. Oh, it's just maybe just extrude it. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Control seven into bottom mode. No, doesn't like it. So let's just try something else entirely. Yeah, this works. Okay. And let's pull that down like that. Okay. Now let's uh, press O, get an inset. We kind of want this to be quite reasonably fat. Will I be able to scale this? Actually, I think I want this to be more fat from this direction. And then we can just pull this tunnel in. And it looks like there's some kind of, uh, 
I don't know, like some um, indentation type thing, some kind of like cylinders or lumps. So let's try and get those in there as well. Okay. So I'm just going to select this and duplicate it as a curve. I think there's a little bit of a funny, let's just uh, bevel these or fillet them or something. Just a little bit to just make that curve a little bit more smoother. And let's take something like that. And extrude it out. We can control alt shift to select all of those. And then let's just give that a, not a fillet, but just a chamfer. And then let's go into four. Select this object, F curve array, and hopefully just something like that, I guess. And I think they're all a bit shorter actually. So if I scale. Select like that as the pivot. I should be able to bring them in a bit like that. Awesome. Just a little detail. Um, and some stairs, I guess. Um, so we want the stairs to go from there to there. And I guess we want. Let's just bring this, these in, so it's not weird. Now let's just bring the whole lot in. Make it a bit fatter. And maybe just... Um, I kind of like that. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but um, what does it look like if we chamfer this? Yeah, something like that. And then let's uh, use that to make a stair. And I'm not going to go too, too mad on the fillets and stuff like that because uh, you'll see um, what I'm going to do when I go into Blender is I'm going to... I'm kind of just using plasticity as the base, mo like the base modeling tool here. I'm not aiming to use it as the, um, you know, to get all of the details in, um, because I've got an idea. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Okay, so rectangular array. Where am I? Rectangular array to middle. Can they be floating sci-fi stairs? I reckon they can. Oh, no. I don't like that. Okay. And maybe just scale all of these. Okay. So I want to have a little bit more of a play around with uh, joining some of the stuff together. So obviously this is going to be inset into the ground. We don't really, there's some barrels and stuff there. We can make those in plasticity as well. And some 
Maybe we'll have a go at some, one of these. So we got. We'll just full screen this again. So we got barrels. We've got something there, like a torch or something. Some kind of crate. And these kind of, uh, I don't know, like these sci-fi crates and a tower in the background. So I don't know how much we're going to get done tonight, but um, we'll give it a red hot go. So I think I am just going to join all this stuff together. Except for the stairwell area for now. And let's just see. Let's just have a play around. I don't re uh, this isn't not all joined together, is it? Oh, okay. Probably play around on this side. Um, there's going to be some weird stuff going on. Is that actually joined? Yeah. Okay. I think I want to try and let's just try and loft these and will it let me use this as a yes ah oh, but it okay what's happened oh no it hasn't it's only going to let us do a G0 so we might as well backspace there uh, what about these Let's just see if we can fill that. Will it let us G1 it? No. Okay, it's going to let us G0. It might let us G1 there. No. It does let us G1 there. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, will it let us G1 any of these? It's just suspense every time you press it. Oh, that looks like shit. Okay, I think we'll leave it as that. That's a nice curve. And we'll try that on these two as well. In a moment. Um, I just want to... Apparently you can press a button that says 100. Just want to have a peek. I don't want to go fully. See, I don't want it to be like a an old shitty house made out of um, dung. Kind of like the piping on this. Um, and then once again, you can see those insets. So they must be something to do with Tatooine culture. And uh, this looks like, uh, I don't know what it is growing on top. Is it grass or is it some kind of like storm debris? Um, there's a book called the Stormlight Archive um, uh, where they have something called um, creme, which comes from storms that uh, covers buildings in a kind of a concrete, which is uh, creme's a sort of... Uh, a slang word in the storybooks for shit. It's a really cool book, and there's a pla uh, place called the uh, Shattered Plains, which kind of reminds me a little bit of Tatooine when I read it. So I think I'm going to join this now to this. I'm going to Q Q, and then and then I'm going to try and do that same uh, that same procedure there, and. If it lets me do G1 on that, nope. Alt F, is it going to let me do? It's not going to, it's not going to let me do it on that one, unfortunately. So, what do we do? Alt F, let's go back a few steps, let's just put an edge loop in, tab it. 
make this a construction plane and let's see if it'll allow me to no it doesn't like it on curves so um, I don't think we need to get too detailed with it maybe if we do that and then if we loft it no, it's not going to work uh, all right, um, oh yeah that actually kind of worked so it's not the same as the other side but it doesn't need to be because this is just a muck around um, shift X and I think that that's fine and not that we will be seeing the back of the house but just in case we make a few more of them and I think let's just take some of the symmetry away from it we can make one side like that and I know tattooing houses don't really have windows but I'm tempted to oh no that one does so let's put in a let's give it a bit more of a curve over here and let's just do the same thing that we did there and just Oh, but it destroyed. Is there a... Just getting rid of some of the symmetry. Okay, we could actually put some kind of like turret type windows in here. So let's just make a curve. Let's get rid of our construction plane. And in the middle of our curve, no, at the edge of our curve, Like about here we'll just press one to go into point mode and let's just b and and let's just pull that inside remembering to press b to make it a new body and okay f curve array did not work why did that not work curve array oh yeah there we go it's going a little bit further than I would like but let's we can just get rid of that last one there Oop, not the whole house just that and let's select our whole house and there we got some windows i feel like that's too many though because it gives it it makes it look like a cathedral and it makes it look a lot bigger than it actually is so let's actually um, make the face of that a make the face of that a construction plane take the whole object and just scale it on its and scale it up we'll make these a bit bigger and a bit more sparse um, okay we should be able to let's get rid of our construction plane for select our object and land barnacles that I did not know. Hey Dave. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll make an observatory another time. I've always wanted to do the um, LA um, observatory like in GTA, uh, which looks sick. Um, and it's just a one of those landmarks that you always know about since you're a kid, but you never go there because you don't go to America. 
Um, one day, one day I'll go to the LA Observatory. Much, much fancier than the one that I had in my uh, small uh, New Zealand hometown. So let's just make a couple of these. And get rid of that one again. And... Boom. Okay. So we're kind of getting somewhere. Let's just get rid of some more of that symmetry. Um, kind of like to... Let's just drag that down. And let's just try and make... See if we can get that like sort of nice curve. Oh. What happened there? Ah, uh, that's... Okay. So... I can't get rid of that. Okay, let's just give this a red help go. No, that's not going to work. Um, let's see if I can... What's the best way of dealing with this? Let's rotate it. No, no, it doesn't like that. Okay. I know. Let's try. Ooh. Okay. This might work. I don't think so, though. Mm. What if we lost these? use that I, I'm gonna leave that I think that's fine and I'm gonna go back and I'll get rid of that and we can actually just put some nice smoothness in there and same with here let's just use that curve to find that one and we can use this use new chordal button which kind of did something weird over here but effort okay and one more symmetry breaker that one can be a nice curve like that Okay, so what do land barnacles even eat? Is there like meat floating around in the air on Tatooine? I just thought about that. Like rotting meat floating through the air like uh, like pollen. I'll just give these all a nice little chamfer, even though it doesn't seem to be in the reference too much. Um, and it looks nothing like this, but it looks something like it. And I hope that what I have planned for it, I'll just get rid of this. Um, we'll kind of maybe we can make a cool sci-fi door here because it is Tatooine after all. Okay. Is it going to let me? I'm always trying to do Blender commands in Plasticity and forgetting that it's not a poly modeling software. So, um, yeah. Uh, what are we going to do here? Let's keep the... Uh... Let's keep the curve. Let's just bring it in here. Use one. One. What? Oh, okay.
Am I going to have to rebuild the curve? Why does it not recognize it as a curve? Is it a sheet? Oh yeah, let's rebuild the curve. Let's get rid of these points. Those. Okay. Let's pull them up. And let's just bring that across like that. We can join these two together. And let's just build the sci-fi door out here without having to go into that. So what's it going to have? Let's just isolate this for a second. Okay. Sci-fi door. Let's bring a line down the middle. Alt Z to go into X-ray mode. Let's just bring this line down like that. Okay. One. Pull these two up. No. It doesn't like that. Pull these two up. Pull these two up. Pull that up. Okay. And then what are we going to do? Are we just going to use a cutter? I think so. C to cut. Cut that in half. Get rid of our curve. Select everything. Give it a bit of a chamfer. And let's just like a, I don't know. Let's see. Actually, you can make a control panel over here. Is it going to go in the door? I think it is. Okay. We can get rid of our curve. And then let's give it some nice curvature. How many buttons do you reckon they have on Tatooine keypad? Let's give that some chamfers. Okay. So let's get a Is that in the right place? Yep. G X one bevel. Scale it up. And let's I'm probably not the liveliest uh uh live streamer you've ever Watched, uh, it's all new to me. Okay, so pull that in. And okay, now let's array that twice. How far in is it? Let's go a little bit further. And I reckon they've got T 
to We'll just fly two rows of four buttons. Yeah, I reckon. Okay, so let's uh, pull those out and let's just quickly give all of these a chamfer. Just because I want to be totally destructive and I don't really... This isn't an uh, asset I'm going to be making for anybody else other than a render. In fact, we're probably going into a little bit too much detail right now because I kind of want this to be a background object. So we probably aren't even going to be looking down those stairs, but uh, it's fun. So that's why I'm making a keypad on the Tatooine door. Um, A highly detailed detail to uh, keypad that we won't be viewing up close. Let's just bring that forward a little bit. I feel like these are too fat, but whatever. Let's get out of isolated mode. Hey, did I just lose what? Did I just lose my whole? Everything. We're going to have to control Z this. Did I, I didn't delete that. I swear I isolated it. Let's go back. There we go. All right. That wasn't fun. Um, let's just quickly do a really budget version of what we just did. Um, I swear I went into isolated mode and I don't understand why. I do not understand why um, it did that. Crappy sci-fi door that we're not going to see. There we go. No keypad. Because I cannot be bothered with that. We're just going to uh, shift C. Just get that into place in there. Actually, let me join it together. Just I kind of want to join this together for the sake of it. No. G Y. G Z. Welcome home, Anakin. Okay. So let's uh, try out the Blender Bridge. Plasticity, only visible. Refresh. And there we've got a tiny wee guy there. And 
the origin point is not where I want it to be. So is it? Oh no. If I Oh no, it's in the right place. Okay, what is the size of this thing? Uh doesn't have a size. Ah, here we go. Eleven nine point nine on the Y and eleven point three on the X. I reckon a little bit bigger. And then on the Z, ten meters tall? Does that seem like is that seven meters tall? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Now, one thing I want to try is what happens when you apply damage to a using the poly damage add on, um, which is a paid add on from cgtrader.com slash whatever. I bought it ages ago. It's kind of a bit iffy. Um, but let's just, I don't know if I was playing around with it before, I don't know if these are default settings or not. Uh, and let's just take all of these. Join them as one. What else have we got separate? These stairs. And they're all called extrudy. Let's join them as one. Lofted. That's one. I haven't joined that together with that. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> I guess it kind of looks like that one. But that's not what I want. So let's control Z that. Let's Take the edge for a like right down. I can't remember which one's which. And let's edge push up or down. Ah, uh, yeah, so edge push down. Not that far. And edge relax up, maybe. No, no, I want it to maintain most of its shape. Oh, let's take the re resolution up to like 165 or something. more getting there I mean there's better ways to do this and uh, I will have to scale this up but we'll I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get there something let's take the noise scale down or maybe the noise scale needs to go up oh that noise scale definitely needs to be higher noise strength down Noise contrast down. I think we do need to pull the edge relax down. There we go. That's starting to look very Tatooine. And it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a bodgy workflow. So this wouldn't be great for game, game engines or anything like that. But it would be... Um, perfectly fine for um let's just see what happens if we do this yeah we're getting some good results okay cool and what we've also done is we've made them super high res <laughs> uh that's okay um let's just go on to um Blender kit, okay, um, and I wonder what happens if I damage these. I feel like these will get completely. No, I feel like these will get completely effed up if I 
if I fully damage them, but yeah, not going to try and mess with that. Um, alrighty, so let's... Let's get a plane in here. Let's just make some kind of sand dunes. It's going to scale that right there. Let's get a safe 150. Scale 200. Something like that. And. Let's get out of rendered mode. Let's get a different mat cap. What's this? What kind of mat cap vibes for tattooing? Maybe that one. Ooh. I kind of don't like it, but it kind of is. Uh, it's uh, so. E zero. I hope I'm saying that properly. It's. Uh, I'm just. Kind of doing a Star Wars thing, but I'm not really, um, not, I don't know, just having a mess around and just sort of basing it roughly off uh, Star Wars. I think that Matt Cap really works for being able to visualize it. Um, so, okay, I think I'm in, oh, there we go. Let's subdivide this guy, like to like 150 times and then subdivide it like 150 and then add a subdiv surface simple and like two just turn scene statistics on just to make sure we don't get crazy out of hand I don't want my GPU to uh, start Oh, under a mill. We are laughing. So. Yeah, I like it. It doesn't have, like, crazy symmetry. It kind of looks like it's made out of shit or um, land barnacles. Um, that's great. Got our door here. Alrighty, and maybe we'll just push these verts. Let's just loop cut bevel. Let's just push these ones down rather than bullying or anything. Let's extrude them down even. Oh, I'm annoyingly going to uh, plasticity shortcuts and then I'm sure I'll do the same when I go back okay so let's just add a little bit of uh, displacement to this sand let's get a new texture I think we'll use clouds scale it Shade smooth. Oh, I kind of actually those loop cuts kind of messed it up a bit with the subdivision surface modifier, but actually that kind of has made a pathway. So if we like, I don't know, let's get some proportional editing on. I just, you know, happy accidents. Um, let's kind of maybe use a sphere one. And just restrain it. It's like a the sand bike's been just shift Zing to constrain it to maybe just pull it to the side of the house. Uh, that got rid of our, actually, I 
yep, that looks cool. And then the one at the back, we can... Take our scroll wheel down, and then we can we want to leave our alrighty, and we're going to get a little bit of movement in here. And actually, which view are we going to be viewing the house from? I do actually want to pull the this might ruin the whole thing. And this mat cap is kind of, oh yeah, that looks, I think this mat cap is faceting the, what happens if we do another, no. Let's add another displacement modifier with another new texture. And this time we can use Voronoi. We can scale it the hell up. I want to get some... gonna have to scale it even I want to get some sand dunes but I think my scales are all wacky and what happens if I apply a V let's just try another mat cap I just don't know why that's faceting Turn that off. Dang it, is it my settings of this? Okay, that mat caps. It's not the mat cap that's doing it. Actually, let's just sculpt the sand dunes in. Okay, so let's get our camera set up. Back in layout mode. Something like this. Um, Q, lock camera to the view. So Q, that's my quick menu. If you're not Blender users, you can pretty much right click anything and add it to your quick favorite. So when you press Q, it's not Boolean. And this is just some commonly used um, items that I use. So let's have a look at our, I've got my lights camera action over here. Let's look at our camera settings. 78 mils, a bit flat. Probably want to go for a slightly more wider angle. So what do you reckon, Dave, if you're still here? Uh, you're, a, you're a camera guy. Um, Fifty-five kind of matches. Want to get and let's um, we will use the rule of thirds. A third of that. And we may not even see those cool tire tracks. Yeah, and a third the sky. Okay. Thanks once again, everybody, for being here um, and watching along. Um, and it's just a Sunday night muck around. So let's get into our shading. Let's get our sky. Let's get our lighting set up. So we've got the sun from over there. And 
get rid of the environment texture. Let's use a let's use a sky texture. And that's not what we want. So let's get the rotation right first. Just gonna make this smaller. Okay. We'll put that over there and I might just put that on always on top for now. If you don't know what this is, this is Pure Ref. Um, it's a great piece of software. Just lets you put, doesn't do much. You put pictures on it and that's about it. But it's really handy for making mood balls, mood boards and stuff like that. So it's always on top. Yep, it's always on top. Okay. So I just want to go back into this mode to have a look at our composition. Okay, and then we'll go back into rendered mode and I'm just gonna unlock the camera from the view so I can mess around. Um, I might change the angle of the camera in a bit. Um, kind of want to like include those like hover bike tracks that I made by accident. Um, and let's go into sculpt mode and let's just take a F to make the brush big, bigger. I believe it. I'm so used to using ZBrush. Let's just make dunes like that. Oh Jesus, Blender sculpting is laggy. And that looks nothing like what I wanted. So let's make the brush smaller. Okay. So we will get the mountains in the background. You reckon 50 millimeters? I trust you. Let's have a look. Um, where's my camera gone? I could probably get F spy out and figure out what it was. Yeah, that's even a little bit wider. So, yep. Yeah, all good. I s and then I'll just bring my camera across. A wee bit. Oh no, we want to get, uh, we can almost get the house a bit closer and yeah, this way we might be able to see there. Just trying to, I don't know if you guys can see, but I do have the, the lines set up um, there. Alrighty. And with that angle, you can kind of see the tire tracks. As well. And the sand dunes as well. I don't think I've got a 50 millimeter lens. Um, I might do, but I use a Sony A6400 and I can never do the conversions in my head for the uh, the smaller, uh, uh, what do you call it, the smaller mirror or mirrorless. The words aren't coming to me now for what those things are. So we'll unlock that. I think we'll work with that now. I just want to try and see if I can sculpt out some... Uh, decent uh, sand dunes and make that a lot smaller and it's a little bit more responsive now and oh, it's not alt and then to hide the fact that there's an end to that and I might even just use a photo of some mountains uh, for the background And just control the blur. 
some divot there. And then just smooth it out a bit. So for photo scanning, I've been using a 24 millimeter lens and Sony C mount, which I think converts to like a 35 mil, something like that. I'm, I can't remember the maths. And then um, a 16 mil lens for uh, wider, uh, larger scenes. Although I, I've mostly been scanning objects with a, with a um with a godox ring lamp and a polarizing cross polarization um all right i reckon that that looks okay it's fun i haven't done one of these kind of scenes in a while so this has been super super fun doing doing this um let's go back to layout mode have a look around here. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Um, so scene's got still under 9 million tries, but what we can do now is we can pretty much uh, go and get rid of half of that. Delete vertices. And now let's try and get our sun right. E0, it's a great investment. Um, but just bear in mind um, a couple of things. Um, if you're going to be using it for with a uh, a turntable or something like that, the size of the objects that you can do is quite restricted. Um, and it, if you're planning on doing it for, for sort of outdoors, uh, it is quite a hefty setup. It's quite heavy. I'd say it weighs about three kilos. So if you're like wanting to go out and, I don't know, do a whole tree trunk or something like that, you might want to do some, uh, you know, uh, some some weights first because it's a, it's a heavy it's a heavy setup but um my next plan is there's a, a a cool looking brick wall i'm gonna bring a tripod out and i'm gonna try and uh scan about three meters of of brick wall at high res and convert that down to a material sony x 1.5 oh is 1.5 so 50 millimeter would be like a 75 millimeter yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, actually, I'll just go and grab a lens. I think the... Yeah, I've got a 23... 23. And... Yeah, I think the one... I've got like a... It's like a 32 or something like that. And it's... Um, it's... Uh, it's totally um it's like it comes out as a weird number or something but yeah it's um i need to sort of invest because my initial investment uh let's bring the elevation down my initial investments were sort of based around like doing outdoor photography and i bought a a, a gimbal which i've used like twice um I've used it more than twice, but I, I haven't got much use about out of it. But I do plan on keeping it. It almost looks like in the photo the the sun's not actually hitting the the lighting doesn't seem to match what's in the sky. It's it's more of a painterly thing. So let's just add some dust to the air, just using this uh, Nishida sky texture. I'll probably replace the sky um later on but just to get the light right and let's just add a material to this um can i pick that color let's choose something like that okay and we'll just maybe bring that up and bring the roughness there up just for now
I might have to have two sons. Yeah, you're right. Um, uh, what are we going to do? Let's. I think I want to change the color of the sand to get that something more sandy. Just so we like working with some colors here and maybe just bring down the the saturate yeah okay so i do actually think i want the camera a bit lower gz and just rotate it on the y And we're going to have to bring that rotation around, excuse me. And the sun elevation. Why is the horizon over there? Should we rotate the car? Well, I'll probably be deleting the sky so I can put the sun wherever I like. Make the disc size bigger. Rotation. It's under the horizon. I should stop messing around with this because we're just going to get some. Let's do the strength up a little bit. Or strength down, maybe. And let's get a material on this guy. I'm just going to do a cube unwrap. It's cube projection. And then we'll find some. We'll use Blender Kit. By the way, I've got a Blender Kit flow profile. This is my profile picture. Take Refuge TV. <coughs> and if we go and look at my assets, um, you can get a lot of them on the paid version. Um, uh, search filters, my assets. Um, I've put a lot of these paid assets up on my Patreon. So if you don't want to get the paid version of Blender Kit, you can get it from there. But if you want to help me out, materials are always free on Blender Kit. So you can, um, download my materials if they will load. Um, it's being a bit slow maybe because I'm streaming. So let's just turn off my assets. What happens when I turn my assets back on? Here's all the materials I've made. So slate roof, gothic bricks, glass optimized. And there's a bunch of different ones that I've made. And um, that's actually a photo scan of my balcony. Um, the first photo scan material I did. Uh, these ones I made with mid journey. When I was dabbling with AI. And various different ones. I made this one with Substance. These ones, these Gothic bricks and tiles I made with Substance. These are all being made for different projects over the years. And I just upload stuff onto Blender Kit. But you can go and download all my materials for free and give them a rating. That's one way you can help out my channel. Um, I believe you can, like, I can't rate my own assets, but you can so um that would be awesome anyway um let's find a clay material and it's going to be a little bit slow but i just want to get this kind of uh materials out of the way so we can start with uh maybe modeling some of these other props and we're going to be we're going to be quick and dirty with all of our methodologies here Found zero result. Oh, because it's my assets. That's why I'm going to turn it off. Okay. So. Maybe some kind of clay brick texture. Mm. 
How did you? Dirt or mud? I reckon this might work for that. And we're probably going to have to mess with the UV scale. Right, I'll unlock the camera. That looks okay. Let's just bring it into the sky. Actually, let's just turn those off and just use more of a yellow. Like that, yeah. Okay. Let's just check the scale of this. I think I want to get a bit more detail out of it, so get that over there. We'll just select all and scale it down. going to be a little bit of a seam on there but with this texture I think that looks cool but we'll just go into shading and I want it to be a little bit closer in color to the reference so we'll just add a um, hue sat into there into the base color and I always find this a little bit fiddly a little bit more red let's bring the saturation up ever just so slightly holding down shift so that we're only going in like real tiny increments and then let's just bring the value down to darken it and then let's get some sand okay i think that kind of matches the color but i haven't got the lighting on so yeah getting there um those floor tiles are hot you don't want to go out in a um a 40 degree day uh and walk on those without your jandals on your thongs flip-flops um, and okay let's find a sand texture I do find sand textures a little bit blender kit's great but it is pretty hit and miss with the quality that you find and I have found a really cool sand texture on here before for a little video I did um, I just want something with quite a bit of detail. Because if you look at these sand textures, the, the grains are not relative to the waves. E0. In Australia, they call flip-flops thongs. And I've been living in Australia for a decade now, and I've started to say thongs. Um, but it does make for some amusing uh, and deliberate moments of misunderstanding, especially when I get to meet somebody from overseas and say, I forgot to wear my thong today, my thongs today. Um, I think both the word and the pluralization of the word. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, makes for some lovely awkward moments and hopefully this loads in quick enough oh that's a very oh it's lagging me the shit out so let's just go back over excuse me while i go and turn the displacement off this or whatever it is that's making that go nuts I still say chili bean. 
um, because uh, there's some words you just can't get rid of. Uh, let's just get rid of the displacements of this altogether. I don't really got displacements. Oh, this is chugging away. Where are you from New Zealand or Australia, um, E0, or are you from somewhere else? Oh, my blender is just going. Oh, it's saying that the stream has ended. Let me just go find OBS. Okay, this sand texture is too hefty for my scene, so I'm going to turn it off. My mouse is just chugging over. Oh, there we go, back. Okay, so that sand texture was too brutal for this one here, sand procedural. I guess it's because it was procedural. I just want a PBR based one. Let me just see if there's a PBR. Ooh. Uh, I'm sorry if I uh, lost you there. Oh, Wollongong. How are you going in Wollongong? Sandy gravel. That one looks kind of cool, but not for this thing. Is this PBR? Where does it tell you? 4K. No, I don't want anything procedural because all of those uh, procedural ones are not very well optimized. Let's use this one. It's 2K. That should be fine. So is everybody here from Australia tonight? Okay. Let me know if the stream is uh, playing up, guys, because um, YouTube's telling me that it's uh, not receiving enough of video to maintain smooth streaming. Um, I might need to lower the settings again. I might drop down to... Oh, no, I already am on 1080, so... Um, this sand texture is... Oh, it's Let's just get that back on the other screen. Okay, that looks more like it. Now let's just rotate it to 90. And let's scale it up a little. I need to turn the proportional off. Actually, it is only 2K, but um, that's okay. Now let's just go and change the color of it. Let's get our reference back. And what's this? Anti-scene 4K AO. No, I, is there scene? No, let's just get that hue set in there. Holding down shift. Get that 
nice reddy color. Value up, value down. Saturation up, value down, saturation down a bit. Okay, let's do a test render, shall we? Uh, and I'm searching for sky on. I think I want to maybe I want to get a few more highlights before I do a test render sun size Woo. actually let's turn the sun disk off I'll be get, getting rid of the sky in the final I kind of like that but now I it makes me realize that the scale of the sand is way too big so let's <coughs> excuse me yeah when I put that other texture on it started uh it started playing up so uh, hopefully it's back to normal now um I wonder what YouTube suggests I do this is the first time it could just be my internet connection here saying uh, yeah I've got no idea what's going on um, but let me know if it, it gets worse or better okay so we'll go back into camera view that's too big Oh, wow. Maybe that's the difference between Wollongong and Perth, eh? Um, maybe maybe it takes a, a bit, bit longer to go across the Nullarbor. Assuming that's where you are. Okay, I think this is quite stylized, this sand, but I'm just going to stick with it because I could just stick around trying out materials or I could open up substance and make my own and uh, we'll be here till I have to start work tomorrow. So I think that's looking okay. We'll just search for mist here. I'll stick on a mist pass. And it says stream status poor question mark analytics. 